Any Abdul? Any Halal Abdul? By the way, it's Halal to call me. Skype is Halal. Because in Skype, they don't use pork. I mean, look at this religion. They allow prostitution. They allowed temporary marriage. They allowed gambling to, to spend your money on Allah. And maybe you will win and maybe you will lose. Because it doesn't matter whether you give him money or not. Still, he's written for you your destiny. They allow child molestation, they allowed a child child rape, but then they don't eat pork, my friend. They are good people. We don't eat pork. When I was, you know, uh, after I finished my uh, uh, like, you know, I was I was with the army, and I, there is a Abdul. He he, he worked there. He is a civilian. Because I'm Middle Eastern, he go with me to eat. Almost for six months. Every day we go to the like there is a restaurant close, so we go there. The Abdul he ask the waiter or waitress say, do you have halal pork? The waiter or waitress they laugh. They said sure, and they show him the menu. And then he chose his dish. After like six months, he said to me, what are you eating? But this time I said to him, when he asked me, I said, uh, what what is that meat? I said this is in Arabic khanzir. He said, "What? You eat khanzir? What? What?" He said to me, "You eat khanzir?" I said, "Yeah, I eat khanzir, which means pork." He said, "Auzu billah." I said, "You eat it? Are you joking or what?" He said, "No. How you eat khanzir?" He said, "You eat it. You are eating khanzir for the last six months." He said, "Me?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "When?" He said, "No. You are eating khanzir right now. Right now. Aren't you the one who keep coming here saying, do you have halal pork?'" He said, yeah. He said, don't you know that pork is khanzir, you idiot? He said, what? <laughs> so the guy, he thought that this is like a, a name of a dish or something, you know, halal pork. He's an idiot. He do not know. He, sp he don't speak good English. So he come to the restaurant. He asked if they have halal pork. And the people, they show him what pork they have. And he is eating for the six months, last six months, halal pork. And I thought he's joking. And I thought, you know, like, that's what I thought. I mean, he's being, uh, he's joking. He's not, he don't care for Islam, you know. I never thought that he's an idiot. He do not know what he's eating. And then he said to me, how you eat khanzir? You are eating khanzir even now. Look at your dish, the dish in the front of you. He said, this is khanzir? He said, yeah. And then after that, since that uh, time, uh, I said to him, by the way, your face has changed. You look like Hanzir. <laughs> by the way, brother, your lips look like weird. You know, since you start eating Hanzir for six months, look at you. Your lips has changed. Your, your nose, even your nose look different now. I mean, what an idiot. So they do all the crazy stuff in the world, yet they claim that they are good because they don't eat Hanzir. Look what the Lord he said is not what go in your mouth make you dirty but what come from your mouth that is wisdom a Muslim woman she cannot walk alone in the street in Saudi Arabia but yet nobody there is eating khanzir so why the women she is not safe to walk alone obviously not eating khanzir did not make you have a good society. In the Middle East, you cannot find a house without bars in the windows. Why? Because if you leave your house without bars for five minutes, they will break in and they will steal all your money and all your furniture. But they don't eat khanzir, brother. Those are good religious thieves. So the Muslim, they school us about ethic and what is right and what's wrong but if you go and live in their countries nothing right there even the grocery store is a store is a scam so based on the hadith in the front of us if you eat khanzir all your life it doesn't matter because what allah he wrote for you like you are eating khanzir all your life breaking the command of allah huh 
and then almost you are in the door of hell that then what Allah he wrote for you proceed and you go to heaven anyone May they, may they. Any Muslim? Yeah, for sure it's haram to call me, for sure, haram. They knew they cannot. Yeah, but it's not haram to try to fool a girl. She is 17 years old to convert to Islam. But haram to talk to Christian prince. Hmm. It's not even haram to sleep with the women she go to the bar even if she eat pork it's halal when they arrested a Saudi prince and they said to him is it haram in Islam to sell drugs he said yes but I don't sell to Muslims <laughs> by the way the the biggest producers of drugs in the world are the fanatic Muslims not even just normal Muslims Taliban Pakistan Hezbollah you name it actually more than 90% of the fund of Hezbollah is coming from drugs And 100% of the fund of Taliban is coming from drugs. But they don't eat pork. When we find that in Google, number one country who searched for sex with donkey is Pakistan. And then we find that the government of Pakistan sending a legal complaint against Christian Prince to YouTube. Have you, I mean, can you believe it? A government of a country like Pakistan complaining against and making a legal claim, legal claim against Christian Prince. I mean, who is this guy, Christian Prince? You are a country, you are Pakistan. I am a threat to the security and the stability of Pakistan. The drugs, my friend, is all over in the country. The terrorism, the weapon in the street, the terrorist but Christian Prince is the problem what is the claim I receive emails from uh, from YouTube they have a long list of videos made by me saying we receive a complaint from government and I was reading to see first because in the beginning it doesn't say which government I was reading to see which what is that I mean what government you know at the beginning I was like what USA government what is that and then I start reading and going down, going down, going down, and then it says the government of Pakistan. <laughs> I'm thinking, guys, to go vacation to Pakistan. Who wanna go fund me to go to Pakistan and pay for my funeral there? <laughs> you can imagine how many beloved Pakistani Muslims will be waiting for me in the airport. Unbelievable. I can I can guess maybe 10 million 20 million yeah but somebody have to pay for the funeral the Muslim they will not pay for it it's haram I mean after they cut me pieces somebody have to come on the Abdul will be lined up in the airport to give me a hug This is how weak this cult is. They need the protection of government. This religion, their God cannot do it. What about God? He do something to stop me. I'm doing this for right a long time ago, more than a half of my life. What about Allah? Do something, kill a Christian prince. Not now. I mean, you, you are late now. If you kill me now, Allah, don't do it now. Just wait until I finish that. Please, Allah. Please finish. What about Allah? He gave me a heart attack right now as we speak. What do you say Muslims because that will be a miracle of Allah if something happened to me right now as we speak 
can your God Allah the God of the shish kebab shut me up hello guys I have my heart my heart yeah I actually no I just uh, saw a beautiful woman walking from front of the window and my heart start beating for her the same as Muhammad my heart flip for you and she's married by the way like the prophet when he said to Zainab she is married hey Zainab my heart praise be to Allah the one who flipped my heart for you I mean your God Allah he can make a flip the heart of Muhammad flip for a married woman but he cannot make my heart flip to stop me from exposing him Zainab Zainab where are you everybody waiting for you everybody feeling in love because you are so big and good for barbecue Zainab Zainab where are you the Prophet Muhammad crazy about you he was a crazy to the point Allah he sent a message about you and he said don't worry about it she is going to be just for you Zainab Zainab where are you that's amazing God for you and what make it more funny that Zainab she claimed that each time her husband he tried to have sex with her Allah he bite his penis ouch I'm so glad I am not the husband of Zainab have you ever heard of such a miracle the poor husband because Muhammad now he flirt with the wife just because Muhammad he flirt with the wife Muhammad he like her the husband now he want to sleep with the women as a husband his wife it's his lawful it's, it's halal it's halal no it's not halal no more because the second the prophet he wished to have her your penis cannot touch her so according to Zainab since the prophet he had said what he said that he like her and he is he have a lust for her each time her husband try to have sex with her Allah he make his penis swell And you are saying to me, Muhammad has no miracles. Even his miracles involve the penises of other men. Muhammad, you like your wife? Your penis goes swell. Go balloon. Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's hurt. I told you. I told the brother. I told you. If the prophet, he like your wife, your penis will go balloon. And the funny, this is written in their books, written by them reported by them printed by them given to us by them and then the muslim they say to you, you are a liar who is the muslim when i call me right now and i will show you the reference 